Giddy everybody, Chaotic here. Welcome to the ultimate 100 days aberration. This gorgeous map that has danger and death around every corner where the raptors will pounce you and the mushrooms kill you just for going near them. And the dangerous radiation zone where Rockwell resides, one of Ark's hardest bosses. And I have just 100 days to kill him, but with one times rates on everything and some boosted breeding and a secondary objective of taming every aberration DLC creature, I have set my most challenging journey so far, and I think I'm in for some real pain. I awaken in an underground cavern, ready to start a note run for some levels. I gain my bearings and realize I spawned in the wrong spot, and I quickly rectify the situation. Hmm, you may have noticed this is not on hardcore, and you would be correct. I'll explain this a little bit more later on. I spawn back in, and I regain my new bearings, equip HLN and E, and I head for the first note. So far, so good. I dump my points into speed so I can run like the wind and avoid getting pounced. Alright, so the only way to get that note is with Helena. After getting the second note, I head for the third note to discover there's danger up ahead. Raptor's right there. I sneak my way around, and I get the third note. I head up the ramp, and I take an opportunity to pick some mushrooms, so I can get some fiber and craft myself some clothes before getting the fourth note. I proceed to craft some extra cloth hats for some easy experience before I move on. Oh, there's a carno right there. Some raptors over there. Where's that thing? There it is. Okay, bam. Oh, there's some raptors. Go to the right. Sneak, sneaky, sneak, sneak, sneak. Fuck. All right, here we go. Give her. Give her. Another one right there. Still chasing me. Okay, good to go. Here it is. After getting away from that raptor, I restock my mushrooms and supplies. I craft a pick, hatchet, bow, and some arrows before proceeding on. Oh, boy. Just keep running. Just keep running. 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 Just keep running. Need to get my fucking stamina up. Don't aggro the megalo. Don't aggro the megalo. Don't aggro the megalo. After grabbing the final note, it's time to get to work. I start crafting some cooking pots for some extra levels. It was going great. Oh shit, 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 shit. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> we're done. I spawn back in and I begin to replace my items. I kill a sheep for some easy hide, and I craft some bolas. These are gonna be literally my lifeline. I craft a foundation and a pestle to make some narcotics, and after a bit of a journey, I finally find a place that allows me to place it. I gather up some berries so I can craft those narcotics, and then some trank arrows. I set off to tame that raptor that killed me, but first, I come across this little bulb dog. Come here, puppy. Come here. Come here. I quickly make my way to where I died. And then I bola and send this clever girl to dreamland. Now, I suppose you're wondering, hey, Chaotic, why are you not grabbing your stuff? Well, that's because I decided even though this isn't hardcore, I still need to give myself a reason not to die. That reason is I cannot pick up my stuff from a corpse. It's gone, no matter what. And to add insult to my loss, if I have a tame with me, I have to drop its inventory too to prevent myself from exploiting tames to get around that rule. As I'm waiting for this raptor to tame up, I hear a creepy crawly behind me and I fail as fast as I can. Oh shit, 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 shit. As I'm waiting around, I begin to craft a stone trap for later. And hopefully I don't die because I don't want to lose this. Cracker Jack is up. I called him this because he cracked open my skull. I quickly find another lowly raptor to add to the pack, and I inject it with some sleepy time arrows. I leave Cracker Jack to protect her new friend, and I continue crafting up the trap when I notice. There we go. Oh shit, there's something attacking my shit. Cracker Jack was killed. No! Well, at least it's a good one. <laughs> I come across a knocked out spinal. I guess this is a good time to tell you this 100 days is done on a server. One that I have open for all my Patreons to play on as I make and journey through the caverns of aberration. I continue on and I find a dead spinal. And I'm not one to turn away free meat. While waiting for my new high level friend to tame up, I carried on with crafting building pieces and I eventually changed my mind. And I'm now gonna use this to build my first house. After more than half a day of waiting, he's finally 
finally up. And I named him Record Jack 2. And the other one is now Spade, because you're going to get buried. I tested out my pack on this Deplo, who didn't know how to mind its own business. Good job. Good job. I found the place I wanted to set down roots, and it's uphill from the river, right next to a charge station and a healing plant. This place should be amazing for a base as I lay the first foundations and quickly set up the walls and the roof. Place down the forge and a mortar and pestle, a storage box to keep my stuff safe, and a craft a smithy. I carry on with building the trap, and then after all of that, I place a bed, and now I'm finally set up with a home. I craft myself an upgraded pick. It's time to harvest like a pro. I head off to find a metal node or two. No, 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 no. I tripped through some mushrooms and I quickly countered those by eating more mushrooms. Oh, shit. I found what I was looking for. After gathering all that I could carry, I head home. And with this metal, I'll be able to craft a flag and crossbows and. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. There goes my metal. Well, I guess it's time to eat that horse and go get some more. After making it there and safely back to base, I craft myself a hide armor set. After some time, I seen I had a trespasser and I couldn't abide by that. Spades down. I carry on gathering resources when I come across my favorite starter tame, the Moss I Chops. Buy what do you want? Tinto Berry? Cook prime meat. I return home to find a raptor trying to chew on my trap. So I did what any desperate survivor would and I knock it out. That bear shouldn't be an issue, right? The raptor's up by day four and ready to get killed, but I'm hopeful she will last. After deflating some basketballs, I took a moment to finish off the ramp. After doing some stuff in the house, the cousin of that last guy who wouldn't mind his own business showed up and gave me a piece of his mind. He also regretted it. I think it's time to upgrade my killing tools. That bear isn't a problem yet. Never mind. Oh no, I moved it out of the way so it wouldn't get attacked by the dire bear. After a few shots, the bear is already near death and I want to make him my replacement friend. So Cracker Jack 2 has one more duty to perform. There we go. Like you were walking that way, bud. You're walking that way. That way. Why'd you go up around my house and eat my raptors? dick. I went out to look for a beehive when I slipped. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. I found a stego for some prime, but this one didn't have the goods. But this diplo had what I needed. I knocked out this lovely colored para to gather berries easier. And it wasn't long before she was up and changing my life for the better. I gave her the name of a champion, Mr. Nibbles. I broke down the walls of my trap to place a gate for easier in and outs for future tames. Buttercup is up and I moved both of them to a safer location as I have a jackass of an idea. Oh yeah, I aggroed them both. God damn it, this is gonna hurt. Oh fuck. Okay, well he's down here. Oh shit, he went right through it! Yeah, you keep biting, fall in there. Dude, is he in there? No, he's not. He's not tall enough. It's down. Hell yeah. Hi, Buttercup. Yeah, how's it going? I took Buttercup out for a walk to tie up some loose ends and to get some prime. Dude, Buttercup fucked that bitch up. Oh shit, there's a fucking sheep right there. Man. That Spino's gonna love this. While I was waiting, some cool looking Ravagers spawned in. As I look around, I see Anton. Uh oh. Hi, Anton. They get too close to the Spino. So I pull him and I run to my trap. The red one runs straight to me and the others go and attack poor Etten, minding his own damn business. Come back here. Oh, he's down. Aha! I see a low level Dodic, so I may as well tame that too. Blood hound. Ultra Marine. I go out with Bloodhound to grab myself some wood and I see a tiny little dragonfly. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Come on, bud, run. Aw, oh, you fucker. Hey! I guess it's time to embarrass that Ravager by avenging him with my Parasaur. On day six, I took my new Spino out to kill some local pests. Between the Spino and the bear, they were an unstoppable force. After my onslaught, I returned to base to find my Dodic is finally up and I name him Roly Holy Gumball. After a bit, I craft myself a bear saddle. So now I can finally rule the underground in style. 
dun, da, 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 da. I find some ravagers I wouldn't mind taming. And here comes the mistake I'll probably regret for the rest of my life. Taking some serious booty damage. You gonna run, bud? Oh no, we're gonna lose Buttercup. Book. I scavenge what I can and I head off to look for a new ride. Well, I guess raptors are better than nothing. 15. Go. Echo. We'll just call this one Striker. After the raptor's up, I head off in search of anything that's better than this stupid raptor. Got right here. 145 bear. Ooh, boy. I jump up on a rock until it runs. Is he Torpor running? There's no way he's that easy to knock out. Yep, it was a ruse. I managed to barely get back on the rock and I start shooting it again. Nice try, bud. Everything is growing great. We play the same game over and over again. You know, I shoot, he runs. This is going great. Tire bears are good climbers. Probably the one thing they're not. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. What the fuck happened there? <laughs> It's a new day and a new plan. I work away at building a trap for the bear. After spending a good chunk of time crafting it, I head out on foot to get back to the bear's last known location. Oh fuck, ouch. Ouch. Hopefully I'll live. Aw, oh, fuck. At least it's a low level one. As soon as I get up though, it's gonna pounce me. There we go, I rolled it. No, I'm gonna die anyways. I was thinking, ah, I should make some bolas. Ah, I'll be fine. After recrafting everything, I decide to get more meat by taking out some spinos with mine. I shoot at this one, fighting fish in the water, but he decides the fish are more important. So I move on. There are two that wandered up the hill, so this should be easy, right? The first one's down easy enough. I whistle to attack the next one when... Surprise, motherfucker. That hurt. Oh shit. I run back to base to try to get everyone else before I lose them too. Thankfully the Spino's getting distracted by my house. I take advantage and I start shooting when... Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Oh man. I run around and I climb up the cliff in the hopes that I can outrange them. When one decides to run right to my tames, Nebel's gone, Echo's gone. Man, I'm practically back at nothing again. I sneak back to my Dodix corpse in the hopes of getting that trap and saddle back. All right, it's time to build up my stockpiles again, and then I climb up a mountain and I get some revenge. Die, 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 fuckers. That Stego was hanging around, and it's time to make him my friend. I lure him into my trap, and I continue to pelt him with arrows until he falls. I then head out and search for more tames. I come across the raptor that just killed me, and I decide to knock it out. I then find two more up the hill, and I'll add them to my collection of things that will die later. I find a sheep, and I harvest it for my new pack. I bring them home to find a damn Carno at my base. Noise. As I'm picking berries. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Where the fuck you come from? Fuck, 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 fuck. Fall off? Good. Day nine means a new day and a new lease on life. Hopefully. I name my raptors Sarah, because you're gonna die soon. Steve, because, you know, Steve, Bino Poop. And I head out to go tame that bear. Come across a pack of Ravagers, and hopefully my pack is greater than theirs. Well, I guess Spino Poop just became Ravager Poop. I carry on, fighting my way back. You're gonna go down, bud? Holy fuck. Wow, we're both down a buddy. Sarah falls, so I decide to replace her with her killer. But he gets out and runs away. I give chase, but I see too much danger and I turn around for a moment. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I managed to lose them, and my green one returns for more. And she's down. Now, where is Sarah's corpse? She had some of that trap in there with her. Am I gonna lose something else to a fucking thing? Oh, look at that, it's a 130 Ravager. Nice. I get to work, and I start crafting up for parts of the trap. I head off to look for a sheep, but the trip is rough to say the least. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Rest in peace. 
No, oh, it's aggro. Not really scary around here at all. <gasps> Sheep. I craft some campfires and I cook up the mutton and I begin that long process. I make my way and feed my new Ravenger. I look around for that 135, but to no avail. I decided to head home, but every path is blocked. I decided to try my luck and take on the Spino. Oh, by the way, when I say we, I really mean you, because I got, I only got like 17 arrows. I'll try to help as best I can, but uh, yeah. Give her, bud. Ooh, I got the killing blow. Shit, 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 shit. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. I'm not fighting that. After killing a Sarko, I chill at the healing plant and I grab some seeds. I make it home and I get a saddle for my new green friend. I also craft a saddle for my new Stego and I put it to work immediately. Stego doesn't have a name, four hours? Yeah, four hours and all I got was this. That's a female, mine's a male. Let's tame it. An imprinted Ravager. Even a low level one, Do better. Then nothing. After the Ravager tames up, I get them to do what they do on the Discovery Channel. After that, I headed out to get some blue gems, and I quickly discovered the frost mushrooms, and they nearly killed me. Oh no, I don't got any water berries. Water ones, right? Oh, I don't even know anymore. On day 11, I went out to get some more metal oh. when I got ambushed. That's a 130. Oh, it's a 130. Hell yeah, I'm taming that. Oh, nice. I'm out of fucking bolas. Bullshit is this? Come on, Chaotic, get up on something before you lose another tame, you fucking bob. There we go. Okay, now to make some bolas. There she is. Go away. Oh, did she go down? Nice. All right, I'm gonna be back, girl, okay? I gotta go get the uh, mutton. Finally making some headway, I feel real good. I head home to find my first baby is born, and now it feels kind of unnecessary. Bye. I'll raise it up anyways. You never know with my luck. It looked. Oh, fuck. The Ravager's up and I check its stat. Nice. She's up. Okay, she's got 750 weight, 2500 health, 1500 stamina, 240% melee. Doesn't seem a whole lot different than this one. I'm getting better. We're getting better. And then I head home. Oh, fuck off. Once home, I imprint the baby and sort my junk around. And here we go again. Oh, they're slightly distracted here, so... Oh, shit. Let me know when you're done with that one. I'm starting to regret my decision to live here. I jump on the stego and I take out the rest. There's a sexy-looking roll rat at my base, so I scoop up some honey while pissing off the locals. Roll rats are a unique tame where you have to wait for it to borrow, and with honey in your hotbar, you can drop it in its hole. Things are going great, but I run out of honey and I have to run and get more. Be right back, I'll be right back. Don't, don't, don't worry, I'll be right back. I still got time, right? 10 minutes, yeah. There's another beehive over here, I think. I thought. And in my panic, I forgot where the other hives were. Remember seeing a beehive somewhere around here? Where is it? I finally remember and I grab some more honey. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. It rolls into day 12 as I struggle to get away from the swarm. You're not doing a very good job distracting them, bud. The thing's already down to half. Oh no. I whistle the Ravager around in the hopes that the bees can get away from me before I die. And after what felt like forever, I was free from their angry torment. And I rushed to finish the tame. Did you just seriously not dig? It did it again. Oh, you can't even pick honey back up, which is so fucking dumb. And he just... Did it again! Fuck it, I give up. It's only a level 15. I craft up a flax set and I carry on doing this and that. Well, at least we have another Dodic. After some time, I decide to tame a bolt dog. I'll need this for the blue zone. As I'm chilling at base, I see a bear getting too close for comfort. Down it goes. I head out and I start gathering stone when the Dodic pops up. Nice, Dodic's up. Day 13, I take my new bear out and I grab some more honey and I name it. Buttercup 2. The baby Ravagers are coming along and I got an idea to build four behemoth gates to trap Spinos in. And while farming, I got ambushed and lost an unnamed friend. After a while of grinding, one of my Ravagers grows up and it's ready to go. So I name him Eden. And Oscar is now also born. After nearly two days, I've managed to gather enough materials to make the gates 
to tame myself a better spino. And after a short journey up the river, I see a 135 male, and I decide to try and tame it off the cliff. When suddenly, what? Oh no, 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 no. Well, just another slight setback. Rest in peace, Buttercup 2. You'll be missed. I head back and I start tranking out the Spino again. But after a bit, the speedy son of a bitch takes off and I lose him. And while I'm searching for him, I find a 130 female. Oh, damn, maybe my luck is starting to turn around. There he is. I continue chasing this Spino everywhere. I'm starting to regret not using the gates I just spent two days making. But hey, mistakes were made, and I'll learn from them. Sort of? Maybe? Possibly? Who knows? Down he goes. Awesome. And I get to work on gathering narco berries and mushroom. I return to my Spino too. There's another fucking aberrant car or fucking alpha carno. Carcanos. What the fuck? Uh, Atten, if this one disappeared too, I wouldn't complain. Oh, here comes somebody random just gonna be killing things. And with it out of the way, I set up my gates for that female. And then begins the journey of getting that Spino to follow me into the trap. But eventually I manage to get her in and I close the gate. I head back to base to repair my gear and craft some more arrows before heading out to tame the Spino. I jump across the river when a Sarko come out of nowhere. These Ravagers do not want to seem to attack while in the water, so I rush to get out so I can deal with it when suddenly... Surprise, Karkinos! Oh, fuck off. No, 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 no. I'm dead. There ain't no way I'm surviving this. I was about to lose everything. Quick, okay. drop all your stuff. Popcorn everything. Oh, fucking Sarko. I spawn back and I recraft my stuff again. This rule is honestly starting to frustrate me. <laughs> oh. I head back to try and save my teams but it looks like they managed good without me. I check on my first Spino, and the mutton timer's getting low, and I'm gonna need another sheep soon. But first, I'll have to deal with these other things before I knock out the female. She goes down, and I look for sheep in the area, when I come across this big-ass danger noodle behind the trap. So I run to Fertile Lake to find another sheep, and before I get there, I find one. Nice. And after many fights and trips to get mutton and narcotics, and everything else, the male is finally up most of the way through day 16. Now I'm only waiting on the female, and while I'm waiting, I give him a good test run. Oh, he's doing some damage. Nice. She's up in the early hours of day 17, and she's looking good. I introduced the Spinos together, and oh boy did they hit it off. And it wasn't long before I had fertilized eggs. I put them in the house for safekeeping because I don't have any way to hatch them yet. I decide my trap is more in the way than helping, so I tear it down to recover some resources, and I start a small expansion of the rest of the house. Okay, it's time. Time to defend this base. I go out and I harvest some metal, smelt it up, and place down some metal spiked walls. This should help keep the smaller dinos out. As I'm waiting for more metal to smelt up, I decide to try and hatch that spino egg, and another one pops out shortly after. I finally craft and place a fabricator, and I got thinking, I don't have any pods yet to move the hatchlings out of my house, so I moved the eggs outside before they hatched up, and it wasn't long before the first one was born. I carry on trying to combine the good stats. <sighs> Fucking rafters, I really need to finish that spiked wall. Whoa! Triplets! I take the female out to test her out. Hell yeah! It's only up from here. After getting one more egg, I go back out and I slaughter everything up and down the river. Vengeance is mine. <laughs> I return home with my loot and I craft and place a generator and a fridge. I decide it's time to go and craft some cryopods and on aberration that's tricky early game as you need a supply crate to do it so i set off the journey to find one with my resources on hand oops looks like it's at the bottom i clear it all up fuck sakes so i set off to find another one i search and i search and i search and i search it's 20 and finally 80 nice I return home and I imprint my Spino. 
On day 20, I went out and I stalked some roll rats to steal some red gems. Yoink. So I can make a gas collector. I will need this so I can start getting ready to make hazard suits for the dangerous radiation zone later on. After the Spinos had some smexy time, they produced another egg. I figured it's time to move my forges outside, so I built a platform behind the fabricator and I put some windows to easily transfer inside and out. It's a little tricky, but it does work. I collect some of the gas balls and I craft and place an industrial grill. And then I head down into the blue zone for, well, blue gems. I don't want to move until somebody says, uh... Those are the freezy bastards, okay, okay, okay. So I can craft my hazard suit after getting what I can carry and quickly tame a dung beetle for that easy fertilizer. I head home and dump off my shit and head back for an Anki. After knocking it out, I craft and place up some spiked walls to protect it from all this crazy shit that wants to eat it. And now we wait and gather and wait and gather and defend and wait and gather and explore and name my spino and wait some more and finally by the end of day 22 it's up and i call him all right fruit punch spanky i pot him up and i tear down my spiked walls gotta keep the servers clean and back at base on day 23 i craft my first hazard suit we are very close to hitting up that radiation zone and getting our first rock drake. And I do just that. I pack up and I make my way to the red zone to find a path down. I make my way around the trench to spot where I can climb up for an easy Whoa. escape. One thing I don't want to do is fall down there. I fight my way down the path, but my spino takes one hell of a beating and I have to stop and force feed him from time to time. I get there, heal up, and look up. What? What? There's no, there's no, there's no egg in this nest. There's a nest over there. I don't think there's any eggs in it either. Oh, there's an egg right there. Level 20. Now, for the escape. I'm only gonna be able to run so far, and then I'm gonna have to fight. Okay, so we got a level 20. I get out of the radiation zone on the morning of day 24, and I find a 135 Megalosaur. Oh, it's a 135. And I carry on because I'm not set up to tame one at this moment. I arrive home, and I see if I can hatch this bad boy. Too hot. Okay, so now I'm gonna need some air conditioners. They reduce the heat and increase the cold at the same time to always have you at the perfect temperature. But I'm gonna need a lot of them to hatch that rock drake egg. Though I'm not quite aware of how much I'm gonna need yet. Still too hot. Damn. More electronics, more metal. Takes about 22. And so begins the journey of gathering and crafting for 22 air conditioner units. And after a day and a half of trying to get enough electronics, I end up breeding Spino before heading out for more materials. It was pretty much the same as day 24 on day 25. Grinding this and killing that and more breeding. And I finally get my stats combined on the Spinos. You, little girl, are a stats. And near the end of the day, I head off to the radiation zone with my Spino to gather some more red gems in bulk. As I was gathering at the start of day 26, I get ambushed by a queen! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I attempt to fight her, but she's too powerful for my Spino, and I have to attempt to run. Oh god. Oh no. You okay? Uh, I don't know. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. You got okay. this, you got this, you got this. Come on, get against the wall here with me. Good thing you had a light pet. I wouldn't have come down here without one. Fuck me, how much health do you got? I'm out. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm out, I'm, I'm out, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! We're gonna go left. Oh fuck. Is she still behind me? She 
still there? I can hear. Whoa! Atten! <laughs> Sacrifice your life, pet and run! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're safe. I think that deserves a like! And while you're at it, comment hiding fish near Batman! Yeah, it's fucking stupid, but hey, it will not only show that you watched this epic save, but it will confuse everyone who skipped this part. Oh man. Still don't, I still need to go back down there. I come back into the radiation zone to heal up near a plant, and once I heal up, I grab some more gems, and I return home with no more problems. And I find a new stats female ready to go. And then it's back to the grind for more air conditioners. We need a name for the dung beetle. Saris, go. What? What's the name for the dung beetle? Yes. Um. Um. That's a great name, Saris. I think I'll call him that. And after that, I name everything else that I forgot to name. Go. What else we got around here in these names? Rolly Polly. That's how we'll do it. No. Yeah, Larry. That's what we're gonna name this Ravager. Frank the Tank. Tiny. All right, we'll go with Tiny here, and then this one will be Tim. Okay. So we got Tiny and Tim. I get ambushed by a Ravager, and I take that son of a bitch down by myself. And then I finally name my Bolt Dog. Co. Co. On day 27, I was returning home from a metal run. Oh shit! 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 Holy fuck. And back at base, I got invaded again. Oh shit, 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 shit. Really need to build a wall. Coco, you dumbass, get back here. Coco, no. Dumbass. Okay, well, I gotta go tame something new. Luckily, there was another bulb dog nearby, and hey, it's not that bad of a level. I built some cages to get my little shit eaters out of the house, and I upgrade my storage. This is a dumb idea placing them outside, but hey, I'll risk it. Oh, and I decide to build a stone patio off the side of my place. It'll be a great spot for parties. After that, I build a place for the garden, and I run some water pipes before crafting, can you guess? Yes, even more ACs. Still too hot. After spending the first half of day 28 hunting down pearls and electronics, I was finally able to craft the final ACs to hatch this rock drake egg. That took, like what, four days? Hold on, let me check. Yeah, four fucking days! Hey, honestly, this one times thing is a real pain in the ass. And if you're enjoying my suffering, maybe I could convince you to subscribe. It'll help me out more than you could ever know. Oh look, I finally got a stats M on the Spinos. Nice. I put some foundations over top of the ACs to protect them, and that should work, right? At the very end of the day, Dwayne the Rock Drake was born. She's not very powerful yet, but with some training, she might be just good enough to get some more eggs later on. The start of day 29 begins with me placing some sap collectors to craft some kibble later, and I spend my time doing this and that, waiting to imprint the drake. And this carried on until day 30, where I went off on a gem run again. Back at home, a bunch of spinos were hatched, and well, my rock drake is all grown up and very hungry. Hey, I need levels, and this is the easiest way. I'm sorry. I take Dwayne out for a test run, and she's nearly ready for a... Time heist? No, an egg heist. On day 32, I was out gathering wood when I see some damage numbers. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No! Fucker. Rip fruit punch Anki. After leveling up Dwayne some more, I start cooking some kibble since I'm going to need a new fucking Anki. After leveling up some more, I take off in search of my next Spanky. After some time, I wander into the radiation zone out of boredom. And, well, I can't resist taming my favorite light pet, let alone a good one. Plus, I'll need it for my secondary objective anyways. Nice. I finally get her tamed up on the morning of day 33, and I'm super excited about it. And then I'm back on the hunt for another Anki. And then I start thinking, hey, I want a mate for that feather light. 
Then I proceed to go back into the radiation zone. Oh, there's one. 140 mil. Interesting. Come on, buddy. Be hungry again. Oh, no, you fucker. Bulbasaur, you stay here. I love you, bud, but not that much. See ya. Oh, I got twins! This one is a male. Change name to... Well, we're gonna go with James. Patreon supporter. Nice. And this one is a male as well. So, we'll go with... Paul. Alright, well, I like Nightwing. We'll go with Nightwing for the female. Yes, I know Nightwing is not female in the DC universe, but I do not care. And then we'll name the male Enlightenment. While I was imprinting the little guys, a Spino nearly killed itself attacking my spiked walls. So I decide I should finish it off before he changes target. Ah, shit. Too late. I spent a good chunk of the day imprinting before I lowered my water tap, and then I proceeded to upgrade to a pump shotgun. And a long neck. 34 days it took. Damn chaotic. This loot rule is really slowing you down, bud. Thank you. All right, perfect. Those guys are about as imprinted as they're gonna get. Cool. Lay on the bed. I popped on for about three minutes yesterday to make sure my feather lights were good, and the little bastard starved to death. Well, I guess it's back to breeding again. And I spend the whole day gathering stone, imprinting, and crafting cementing paste. But by the end of the day, I finally went out to look for that replacement Anki again. And I found a pretty decent one. I gently kited this one to a safer location. Good enough. And after some gathering, James the second is finally grown up. And we head off immediately to get myself better rock trace. This is a stealth mission. I need to stay cloaked to not aggro the wild ones and keep an eye out for my stamina. Natural causes biggest weakness. 55. I carry on searching and checking eggs and recovering stamina in safer spots. I find a level 100 egg, but I carry on hoping to find better. After a while of being unable to find better, I settle on that 100 egg, but I couldn't find it, so I settle on this level 95 instead. What about the 100? I don't even remember where it is. I'm just gonna grab this one for now, and then we'll go back in in a second here once I'm pretty sure I'm safe. After the coast is clear, I head back and I find that level 100 egg. Nice! But it's being guarded and I'm too chicken shit to risk it. So I carry on for a little bit before heading home before I die and also it wouldn't hurt to repair my gear. I grab Cher so she can help me clear out the rock drakes and their eggs. One forty-five. I head back to base to make sure I don't lose that bad boy. And I keep the others just in case I need another gender for breeding. And they all can't be female. Right? Pig Oscar. What's going on here? Why the fuck am I like that? Arc's broken again. That's a female. Wayne, are you male or female? Can't remember. Female. Alright, well, we'll get more females, the better. Hopefully that fucking 145's a male. What happened to Kathy? Did we get attacked while I was not paying attention? Average Spino destroyed your stone tap. Ah, fuck. Tap in there? Nice. So I'm going to kill myself because of the glitch, so I'm not going to count this as my drop it thing. Because look at this shit. Look, look, look. Look at this fucking shit. This is dumb. Fixing this. Right now. <laughs> That's better. Ooh, 145. Alright, I'll, I'll get you in a second, bud. we got to clear out this fucking Spino infestation. Shit. Okay. You are a male. Rip. You better be a male. Fuck. It's a female. Dish, my lock had to run out somewhere. Run. Go. After waiting for the Rock Drake's first imprints, I head out to explore and. 
that bear. Holy shit. I come up with either the dumbest or the smartest idea I've ever had. Can I get away with this? He's on the torpor run, so I give chase. Did I seriously hit the roll rat? You fucking stupid ass fucking arrows. Oh shit, never mind. Come here, eat this fucking thing. Thank you. Bears are good climbers, I forgot. Two, three, four, five. Box him in here. Down he goes. Okay, mint. I set a parasaur up as an advanced warning alarm. I might regret this later. I waited out the bear's timer and I feed him some golden honey at the end of the day for an instant tame. I take him back to base and I named him Raiden. Hopefully, this will be the last bear that I lose. I head to the Glowtail Cave for my artifact in order to do Rockwell. I make my way down, and I notice right away a lack of dinos wanting to eat my face. I get nearly to the artifact before I see the first thing that wants to eat my face, and I just jump over them and I run up to the artifact. I start thinking, I want some loot. So I look around, and I find a large cluster of raptors, Ravagers and some other scary things and I thought hey, I can take this Oh fuck James 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 That was the last place I wanted to get knocked down. Fuck off. Come on, Nenton. Pull through on me, buddy. Well, time for a new Ravenger. Fuck. I'm stuck. Rip James. That's the first death in a while. I don't know how the hell I got pushed off like that. That was bullshit. I got a mutation. It does. Cool. Paul the second, since Paul the first starved. Death. Cat effect. I think she means take the... God damn it, cat. Why'd you die? Since cat starved to death. I guess we'll make cat... The Ravager. Catathak the Ravager. Baby, yeah. Day 41 had me waiting on babies all day. And then I came under attack again. Yeah, there's the Carno. At least we don't got to worry about that fucking Parasaur making noise anymore. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Are you serious right now? I begin to build the wall. I'm getting tired of everything coming in and chewing on my stuff. <laughs> Hazels. <laughs> I picked up my stego. Nice. I didn't know they could pick up stegos. Yeah, oh, fuck. He's on follow, man. He's going to try and come Good back. Thing tames don't take fall damage when not ridden. And then I see it. It's 135, too. I get up high, and I begin to trank it out. And it runs straight over my wall and starts attacking my tames. Wow. Fuck. Oh, sorry guys. 
Come on. No, leave my base alone. Look at all those damage numbers. That thing just killed all my air conditioners. Oh well, I guess I'll just carry on. I take Veronica out to level her, and then it's back to the trench for eggs. Ooh, a 145. Yoink! After some searching, I head back home to store the eggs, since I can't hatch it right now. I head off to grab some pearls when I spot an Alpha Carcanos. I'll need one of their claws if I get the chance to do Alpha Rockwell. After that goes down, I change my mind and I head off to go tame a Dimetrodon. Thinking that'll be easier than crafting more ACs, right? Down it goes. Now to get some narco berries. Guess the biotoxin will work for now. I search around and I keep looking for berry bushes and I finally find some. Ah, oh, fuck off. That's a 140. And then I spent half of day 46 gathering and crafting replacement air conditioners because fuck taming another Dimetrodon. Oh, it's incubating. Nice. And then I headed back to the trench. Uh, 165. Okay, 165. Here we go. 170. Now we're talking. Hell yeah. It's time to try and tame a roll rat again. After looking around for what felt like forever, I pot up Raiden, and then I do some things, and I notice that it's a good time to hit up the surface for some loot. Up here is crazy dangerous, and one wrong move will cost you your life. And if you're not back underground before the sun comes up, well, let's just say your goose will be cooked. You gotta watch out for the reaper kicks. These guys can ruin your day pretty quick. I kite them away, and I rush back, and I grab the loot. Nice! A long neck BP. But the real goal here is to find a rock rig saddle BP, a 200% plus ish damage pump action shotgun BP, hopefully, maybe a spino saddle BP, and if we get really lucky, a megalosaur saddle BP. That yeah. was a good start for loot, but the sun is rising and I have to bail. I don't have long before the sun sets, so I rush back to base and I drop off my spoils. I check on a few things, and then I head back to the surface. Oop, 146 pump, noise. Pre-made shotgun, not that great, but definitely better than nothing. Not to take advantage of it. On day 49, I sort my loot and I add some more to the wall before heading back out to the loot hunt. Awesome! I'm starting to get a nice collection of BPs amazing yet, but an upgrade is an upgrade. For some reason, the drakes like to hatch in the foundations, and it's kind of annoying to say the least. I head out on an exploration run, hoping to find an alpha basilisk. Ooh, 140. Okay, I am taming that. I head back to base to prep for the tame, when I notice my drakes are big enough to claim now. But 
Can I pot it? Okay, I got everything I need but the eggs. Time to get all my drakes into a nice big breeding ball. While I'm waiting on breeding cooldowns, I make some more tranks, and I head to the blue zone to tame myself a baryonyx for some cave running. Why? Well, they're generally pretty great for caves, and I haven't used them in a long time, and I'm feeling nostalgic. I search high and low looking for one. And on day 51, I find a male 125, and I wasn't long sending him to Dreamland. Female level 20. Perfectly. Once they are both up, I take a foundation and I throw Paul on the ground and cover him up. I dump the rock drake eggs on it okay, so and I tame that basilisk. Easy. Slip night. And then I take him out for a rip. On day 53, I head to the shadow cave to grab the artifact, since you can just stealth in with a rock drake and easily take it. And after that, I harvest some obsidian to craft and place some artifact stands. I head out on day 54 to find a roll rat, and I settle on a level 50. And it still takes most of the damn day to tame it. And yeah, we got a roll rat! But it was so worth it. On day 56, Kenny names my new imprinted berry. Well, if it's a girl, it's Barnita. So I'm naming it Barnita? Yeah. And I head off to the Glowtail Cave once again. And although it's still challenging, not nearly as bad as it was the first time. And on my way out, a raptor pounces me and Barnita falls off. And I have to rescue her. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck. Aw, oh, Barnita! Yay, Barnita saved the day! And then it's back to the surface on day 57, 58, and 59, where I get an awesome pump shotgun, and I nearly kill myself with the E attack. Oh shit. Woohoo! Fuck, that was close. Oh man, I almost fucked that up. That supercharged my luck, though, into getting a sick compound bow. Not a terrible bow for damage, but durability's a little low, but damn. Day 60 has me going for the final artifact, and well, it went great up until near the end. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I don't got enough oxygen, but if I drown, I drown. I don't fucking care at this point. I'm gonna not gonna make her out either way. I might have actually made it if it wasn't for the eels. Interesting. Ah! Why did that fucking knock me off? Ah! Fuck. <laughs> After gearing up to go rescue what's left of my tames, I get ambushed again and I fall into the worst possible location. Want nothing to do with you, bud. Oh. No, 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 fuck. That ain't good. Are we disconnecting or something? Why ain't I taking radiation damage? Dude, is this like the spot where you don't take radiation damage? Oh, this is gonna suck. Now to try and escape before the radiation kills me. And yes, it will kill me. Okay, there we go. Now it's taking damage. I make a galleon attempt, but I make some wrong turns. Where the fuck am I? Rest in peace, bud. This fucker's running up with me. This is cheating. Cheating, I tell you! <laughs> that Ravager was more radiated than Chernobyl and still died. <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm running out of good shit, man. I gotta stop dying. Day 61 has me recrafting all my gear again and farming for a new Rock Drake saddle before I can attempt this fucking cave one more time. 
I was informed that you can stealth run the cave too and you won't get stunned by the jelly. I do a quick test to make sure this is true. Okay, I think we might be good here. And then I make my way back to Veronica. Hey, Veronica! And I get fucking stunned by the jellies. Ugh. Oh, shit! The fuck happened there? Whew. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that ain't good. Come on, guys. Get him. Holy fucking Jesus. Okay, mint. Okay, artifact of the shadow. It's nice. All right, that's the last artifact. On day 62, I make it home and I place my last artifact. And I get to work on breeding up a spino army for Rockwell. And I name my rat. Rolls. <laughs> And I get my first stamina mutation on my drakes while my spinos are growing up. And I named all of them after my Patreon supporters. I find a sexy pink Karkinos, and who wouldn't resist taming that? Oh man, I hope that pink Karki is fucking high level. I would tame a pink Karki in an instant. 120. Ha ha ha! Yes! I test out my old trap, and I assume that if my drake can fit, so can it. I start kiting the crab to the trap. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Nice save, Chaotic. I get the crab in and I build a tower and I begin pelting it from above. It ends up being a close call, but it does go down with minimal health to spare. Down. While I'm waiting for it to tame up, I craft a chemistry bench, and I head up the surface once again. <laughs> Man. 62.3. That ain't bad. There's something. Nothing great, but it's something. I'm gonna bang off the wall here. Ding, 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 ding. 50 armor rock drake saddle. Not great, but definitely better than 25. And in between surface runs, I smash rocks with my dodic and anki and crab combo. This makes things so much easier now. Oh, 76 armor rock drake saddle BP. Damn. And it's finally day 69. My favorite of days. I take Big Boy and Spanky down to the blue zone for a big metal run. And let's just say I should have stayed home. Oh, fuck off. Fuck sakes. Only I got was a heartache. Bye, Spanky. Ark just really wants to fuck me hard on the big number day. On day 70, I start my hunt for a Reaper Queen, but it was to no avail. Well, I did have fun leading them off the cliffs. I do get bored though, and I start hunting for Megalosaur, since I have a decent saddle BP now. And by day 71, I find and knock out a 145 female, and once she goes down, I see another 140 female just down the hill. Oh, what the fuck? And they're down. So I just end up knocking out the first male I see. <laughs> and I end up having a close call when my hazard suit breaks waiting on them megalosaurs to tame up. Bad time to get stuck hung up on something. Oh god. Am I lagging or some shit? I'm pretty sure I'm in the blue zone. Oh. Oh man. And at the end of day 72, the females finally tame up. Back at home, I get the breeding so I can start raising a Megalosaur army for Rockwell. Shit. While I'm waiting on yeah, things, okay. I head off to get another fucking Anki. How many is this now? Can't even remember at this point. 
Oh, and I also tamed an anglerfish while I was waiting on the Anki. Spanky. Okay. I head to the Glowtail Cave for what I assume is to tame some Glowtail. But I don't have any seeds on me, so I must have forgot them. But hey, that doesn't stop me from nearly dying there a second time. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Come on, Archie, you got this. Yeah, oh, nice. Day 76, I'm using my newly acquired angler fish to collect so many pearls. Just so I can craft a cryo fridge and more cryopods to store my army in. And by day 79, I head back to get my glow tails, the second last tame I need for the list. I end up taming not one, but two high level ones. Name the female Alid and the male Shelby Andre. Day 80 is the day that I am going to focus and get myself a Reaper King. I built Captain Fat Dog's Reaper Queen trap, and I set off to find me a queen. I'm not going to be too picky though, so anyone will do at this point. I just want to get this off my to-do list. I kite her back to the trap, and she goes in. Zero problems so far. Come here, big girl. <laughs> That's my trap. Get out of there, bitch. <laughs> I weaken her down, and then she completely ignores me? What the hell is going on here? So, I kill her, and I get myself a new one. And she does the exact same thing. The third one, it has the invisible glitch. So much for third time's a charm? Number four, this is it. I can feel it in my bones. Okay, mint. Uh. Yeah, it's probably it. There we go. Get out of there! Okay! We're good. I head home with my new baby on board sticker, and I kill some things to level my bouncing baby boy up. <laughs> But yeah, so we gotta we gotta keep tradition going. We gotta dance every video, right? So we gotta sit here and dance, 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 dun 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 dun, dun dance, dance, dance. Yeah. <laughs> I set up a nursery and I wait. Wait, oven, six, five, four. Get ready to push, chaotic. Get ready to push, push hard, push hard. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't know why women complain. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> Chaotic Jr. is all grown up by day 86, and we take some father-son bonding time, and we tear up the town. And well, other than raising my army, I really got nothing left to do. I just raise my babies all the way up to day 94, where Junior and I do sufficient to pass the time for a whole day. And for all of day 95, I hunt Nameless for their sweet, sweet venom. I need it for the Beta Rockwell, the highest difficulty I think I'll be able to do with what I have. Even then, I'm not that sure about it. I get sick of waiting, so on day 96, I gather everyone up, and I head down to Rockwell's lair. And I get everybody set up. Out of all the boss fights I have ever done, this is the least confident I've ever felt about going into it. I know I'm not ready. Not even close. I regret not being able to get a better shotgun blueprint. Oh well. Are you ready? No, no, I'm not. 
Hey, jackass. I whistle my army to the front and center, and I begin pelting at Rockwell's tentacles. I'll have to remove them one by one until they're all down and Rockwell exposes his heart. All while avoiding getting hit by his balls. No, not those balls, you sick-minded motherfuckers. I get the last of the tentacles down and I begin attacking his heart. So far, so good. Ouch. Phase two down in good time. Bum, 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 dun, dun, dun. Now on to phase three. This is where it starts getting hard. Rockwell will charge up some of his tentacles and smash them into the ground, spreading the electricity out. And if you walk into them, you'll be stunned off your ride. What the fuck? Oh, fuck off. Come on, come on. Fuck me, that was my own fault. I whistle my army to attack and I heal up. Wave 4. My gear is starting to break and the pressure oh, is mounting. The tentacles are not going down fast enough and I know it. That's unfortunate. I get the last of them down and I whistle to attack, but he sinks down immediately with only half his health gone. And only 12 minutes left in the clock. It's starting to feel like a losing battle. The fifth wave. I'm frustrated and in a panic now. My ammo's getting low and the balls are flying in faster than ever. And with the new threat of Reaper Kings chasing me, Rockwell's fighting with all he's got. He's down to one quarter HP and there's eight minutes left on the clock. This is starting to look good for me. I might have a Very chance. Very bad situation to be in. I continue on killing tentacles when my tames begin to fall. Rip share. One. Two, three, four, five. Five tames down, and only a handful of bullets left. Six, seven tames down. This is my final hope for victory. He doesn't go down here, we lose. We lost. I 
I press on. Maybe I can pull this victory off. No. I got nothing left for armor there. Ah, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Down we go! Woohoo! Damn. All that struggle for nothing. I imagine this won't be the last time I see Rockwell. And I'll get him then. I know I will. This is not good. Seriously? Come on. To the right. Let me go. No. 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 